Hello, my name is Frances Reid and I'm Programme Director for the World Ovarian Cancer Coalition. In this champion chat, I'm delighted to welcome Runsi Sen. She is founder and chief executive of Overcome, um, a patient support group that works from Houston in Texas in the United States. And she's here today to talk to me in particular about the Overcare package. Well, welcome Runsi, first of all, it's lovely to have you here today. And why did you set up this program and what does it involve? Thank you, Francis, for having me. It's always an honor to be with, uh, with you all. So in terms of um, the history and the background behind Overcome, I actually lost my mom to ovarian cancer um, about 12 years ago now. And in her memory and with her inspiration, I created Overcome. And you set up the Overcare package. Was that an early program in the... So the Overcare package was um, established in 2014. So it was, um, you know, it was a, a vision that I had to help women worldwide and, and starting with the US with a care program that um, having just gone through this whole journey with my mom, I understood the kind of challenges that every family faces uh, while going through the ovarian cancer journey. So that kind of, you know, uh, germinated into the Overcare program in providing um, financial as well as psychosocial assistance to ovarian cancer patients in need. And it was um, launched in 2014 and we have not looked back since then. So a woman who comes on to your program, what does she expect to receive? So as um, a part of the overcare package, we really looked into the elemental, um, you know, requirements, if you will, when a woman goes through this ovarian cancer journey, especially those are th that are challenged financially. So we came up with this care package, with, which has a gas card, which has a grocery card, which has a financial grant that we offer that you that's unrestricted in the sense that you could use it to pay your bills or um, however you wish to utilize it. And, and we also offer a um, six session course of psychosocial counseling to um, these patients, which are run by a licensed clinical social worker. So our goal through this program was not only to offer a financial assistance package to these patients, but also to offer some mental and emotional counseling and to hold their hands, if you will, through this journey of ovarian cancer. And many Many of these patients are, um, you know, at a, this is a very serious um, diagnosis, as you know, and they are at a, you know, phase in their lives where they're having to choose between, um, you know, whether they should keep their doctor's appointments or, or use that money to buy groceries for their children or to buy clothes for their children to send them to school or other things that, you know, lifestyle um, needs that come in the way. And so, uh, we that was our vision to offer this lifestyle care package to the patients and um, very proud to to say that we started in 2014 with only one ha hospital MD Anderson as our partner but now since then we are now working with 137 hospitals nationwide in providing this service to ovarian cancer patients and do women come to you because doctors have recommended that they go to you that's a great question. So um, initially it was a lot of outreach on our end to work with our partners and, and also within the community um, of women that we knew. But now the, the program has grown so much that we, um, we just get uh, requests from uh, social workers, from nurses, from case navigators, from the patients themselves, from doctors, from all over the spectrum, if you will. And um, it, this is all without us trying to even reach anymore because the program Program has reached and it's just um, it's just phenomenal for us to see how they find this program and reach out to us uh, organically because we don't you know on our end there is no um, um, you know planned initiative any longer to make outreach with this program because it has already kind of um, reached that level where we are getting requests every day from um, all this um, all these people to to help the women so and what if the women 
said to you about what it's meant for them to actually get one of your care packages? Yeah, that's a really good question in the sense that, you know, when we um, formed this program, our hope was that it was just not going to be a one time grant and then, you know, we move on to the next person, but we wanted this to be a uh, an experience, a journey, uh, uh, you know, of togetherness that we wanted to um, build with this particular or the, or the all the patients that we work with, and that is, we are so pl- pleased to say that we have seen that in majority of cases the patients stay with us even after the overcare program, which is a big testament to um, to the work that we do, and we are receiving so many notes of gratitude from patients that are. Um, that have been helped and also the fact that you know they could pay their rent they were able to go get their medicines they were able to feed their children they were able to keep their appointments with their doctors and with the gas money that we provide uh, to them so simple things but very profound um, notes of gratitude that we um, that we have received from these patients and remarkably many of these patients have actually gone on to raise funds for overcome and to give back to um, the community. And also we have many ovarian survivors who have not been recipients of this program that that have actually gone out and raised funds to help another um, survivor like this in need. So this is such a beautiful community that we have developed where the um, survivors and overcomers come together to help each other out. So Um, Like I said, it's just not a grant. It is a journey of togetherness that we have built over the years that we are very proud of. And so you should be, I think. What would be your top tips or um, if anybody else was thinking about this type of work, what has made it successful for you? So I think what made it successful for us is um, just our persistence in in understanding where the needs are, how we can address it, and also the fact that we uh, worked very diligently with our partners in the beginning. Um, because as you can understand, when you when we are working with patient groups and patient support, we cannot do that without the assistance of the um, social workers of the case navigators, if you will, because without them, um, the patients are oftentimes, you know, they're so overwhelmed with this diagnosis and with this journey that um, they might not be able to reach out to you directly. However, all these case managers and social workers that work on the behalf of the patients are the ones that reach out to us. So I would say that one of the most critical support system for this program to be successful is the the healthcare team, without which this program really doesn't um, stand its ground because we need the support to give us more patience to help and to support as we go along the journey. So thank you very much, Runcy. I wish you all the best for the program. And as it develops in the future, I know you've got plans afoot. Um, And good luck. And thank you very much. Thank you, Francis. It's a pleasure.